welcome to this Data Master 6 video. I'm Jeremy, one of the trainers here at Data Master, and I'm going to walk you through how to get registered for the new Data Master 6 product. When we open up Data Master, we need to, we need to set up an account. So first off, we're going to hit sign up. And this is pretty self-explanatory, but we're going to run through this fast. We're just going to put in our name and then start putting in the information. I'm going to do that and we'll meet you back in just a second. Once you're done filling in that information, hit register. Once you've created your account, registered with Data Master, we're ready to go. We're set up and ready to start a report. Today we're going to create a new report. Alright, we're going to hit a file number here. So this is where you just put in a file number that you normally do with your reports. And then you can pick your form software. So whichever form software you're working with, we're going to work with Total today. And then what, what form you're working on. Data Master is going to set up that file uh, a, a 1004 UAD and it's going to be able to send that into our total form. Um, but for what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put in an MLS number. Now you can also use the address, you put in the address information here. You could put in an APN and all you'd have to do is put in the APN and then the state and the county. Or you can come in and just put in an MLS number which is what I'm going to do right now. When you're ready you hit search and are able to start pulling that information. And what Data Master is doing when it's pulling that data is it's going to the MLS, pulling the MLS data for that property, and then also going to public record and pulling public record for that property. Data Master has now pulled in our subject, and it's bringing up our prior sales deeds right here. Um, so it's letting us know this is our current sale for the property, and if we want to select any prior sales, we just check the boxes here. We can click on details and now we can come in and fill out a lot more information on our subject page. And we can go through each one of these sections, fill in contract, neighborhood, site, improvements, and you can fill in data from each one of those. Data Master has filled in data, but now you can actually add more data for that subject page. In the comparables, you can go to the MLS and set up a search and bring in the comparables you want. I've gone in ahead of time and set up a export file that I'm going to load right now. Alright, once we start loading that file, what Data Master is going to do is again go to the MLS, pull MLS data, and go to public record and pull public record data and then combine them within Data Master 6. Alright, now our comparables are loaded. We can go through if there's any prior sales deeds, we can go through and select those or we can skip them and that's what I'm going to show you now. I'm going to go into our comparables grid. Alright, Data Master brings in the all of our comparables with our public record data including all the images that are stored in the MLS. We've now brought them in on this page into Data Master. We now have an MLS sheet that you can look at and print out and save in your work file. Um, including all the remarks from the realtor, all the information that you'd normally see on that listing sheet. You can click on the deeds and go and look at the deeds, which we've already looked at, but you could go in and pull more of the deeds. So you can also go in and look at maps. We're not going to look at that today, but you can go in and look at the property, where it's at, and even look at a street view. In the comparables grid, we can do customizations. That's one thing that we're really good at. We'll go into that in more detail in another video. But you can customize in here. You could also come in and edit anything that you want to right in the comparables grid. If you don't want something in there, you can now just go in and take it out. Or you know the total room count is seven. You can come in and put that here. A lot of features available in Data Master 6 with our comparables grid. Now the next part I want to show you is our market conditions. I'm going to click on market conditions and again, you're going to go in, set up the search and pull in that information from the MLS. I've already done a search ahead of time and I'm going to load that into Data Master. It's going to the MLS, pulling all that MLS data that we need to do our 1004 MC. Data Master fills out your market conditions grid, filling in your 7 to 12, 
four to six, current to three, separating all that data where it needs to go. We have the data that fills in at the top of page two, below our market conditions grid, um, and this will fill in at the top of page two again. And then we have our comments ready to go down at the bottom. That you can come in, edit these comments if you want to, or leave them in, and they can go in into your report. We can go in and look at more details if we need to, all the properties that are loaded into our market conditions, or if we wanted to, we could actually click on 7 to 12, 4 to 6, 0 to 3. I'm just going to click on one of them so you can see the actual properties that are used in the 7 to 12 month time frame. You can also come and add graphs into Data Master. So if you wanted to add graphs, like say we wanted the average list price, we wanted to sell the list price uh, per square foot, and our average sell the listings days on market. We wanted to add those in. We can just go in here, click on those, and those graphs will now be added into Data Master. And then eventually into your report. We now have trend lines um, for each of those properties. And again, if you don't want to use them to go into this report, you could hit the X and then those properties won't go into your report. But otherwise, we're going to leave them in here and send them into our report. There's a new summary feature with Data Master 6. Summarizes sell prices, list price, a bunch of different fields, but giving you the mean, median, mode, range, highs and lows, um, and then giving you other information here. Um, about your market conditions area. We also give you um, terms and sell and sold information for that. So if it's cash, if it's conventional, you can, you can do all sorts of things with these graphs. Um, but again, if you don't want to use them, you don't have to with Data Master 6. So when we're ready, we hit export in the top right corner. First off, you just want to verify, yes, I'm sending this into a 1004 UAD, and yes, I'm sending it into my ALA mode software. We have our subject that we're sending in, our comparables, and our market conditions data. If we wanted to exclude either any one of these, like our subject, we could just exclude that. We have our exceptions report down here. If you wanted to copy this, you could copy it to a clipboard and paste it into a document or copy it into your report. What the exceptions report is, since Data Master looks at MLS and public record data, it's just letting you know any discrepancies it sees between MLS and public record data. Pretty helpful report, though, for you. Once you look at all that and review your report, you hit export, and we're now going to move this right into our form software. So this is where Data Master is finally going to start talking with your uh, form, whatever it is, total, uh, ACI, Bradford, or Cephrip. We're going to create a brand new report and then hit import. If you wanted to, you could also merge it into a currently open report and send it into that. And you can do that with each one of your softwares. All right, now Data Master is finished transferring the data into our total software. If we hit forms, we now have to come to the top of page two. Data Master is filled in whatever data we asked it to bring in. And if we would have typed in more data, or typed in or checked boxes, Data Master would have brought in more information for our subject. The top of page two, like I said, Data Master will fill in the market conditions data here at the top of page two, and then also fill in our comparable information. Now, with Data Master, we can also customize how the data looks or the format that it comes in when it comes into your report. So we can customize Data Master to look how you'd normally type fields into your report. If you don't use average on functional utility, we can set that up to come in in a different format. Or if you don't use uh, exterior features down here in extra line item one, you want actually um, fireplace to come in there, for example. We can set that up for you in Data Master. So that's something, though, that will be done on the training. If you uh, meet with one of our training reps, we will actually walk you through all that customization and get everything set up for you. The last spot that we want to look at is our 1004MC. Data Master has moved that information into your report. 
now you can get on with your report and start editing the information that has come in from Data Master. Thanks for watching this video. This is Jeremy again with Data Master, uh, introducing you to Data Master 6.